Where the hell are all the silicopoles in Art's Survival Ascended Center Map? Well, they have maybe moved a little bit. Some of the ones that you expect to find don't seem to be in such abundance. But don't panic, I've done the legwork so you don't have to. I'm going to show you the two best places to get them without a donkey. Whoa there, Jade. Donkey? Don't you mean angler? Yes, I do mean angler. I don't know why I kept calling it a donkey. I had to re-upload this video because I realised after someone commented I was having a brain fart. But here we go. You don't need an angler to get lots of silica pearls, but it certainly might help. So to be clear, if you're looking at any old maps, especially maybe even on the wiki showing the center map for Art Survival Evolved, you will see a plethora of different locations to go and get silica bowls. But on the ASA, it seems to have been moved a little bit, or there might even be a glitch where a lot of them are actually under the terrain. For sure, if you spend a lot of time in the deep sea trenches in the middle of the map, you will eventually find some. But it's getting increasingly harder with all the vegetation from ASA, and it's not the most safest of places. You probably do need something like an angler, otherwise you're not going to have much success. Now if you don't know, an angler is one of the best for getting silica pearls in the game. Second to that, maybe could be mantas, and third, possibly even using otters to go fish for you. Anglers aren't that easy to go and get hold of, especially in the early days. So, where else can you pick some from? What you might need to do is head all the way over to the floating island in the west side of the map. Roughly 41, 31, pretty much on the edges, not directly underneath the landfall in the water, but just on the edges and around, you will find plenty of silica pearls here. It's relatively shallow, although there are still dangers, you will find megalodons and maybe other creatures, it's still relatively safer for sure than the deep sea. If you've got the patience to direct your otters to attack the fish, they should go ahead and harvest them, and you've got a chance of picking up silica pearls too. Otherwise, there should be more than enough to get you started for whatever you nearly need to craft just by hand picking them yourself. So maybe option one for getting a lot of silica pearls without using an anglerfish. Option two is to head to the underworld. Maybe a bit more of a challenge, but there are plenty of quick shortcut ways to get here. It's just about getting out. That's the problem. There are a ton of silica pearls here. I couldn't see them at first because they have slightly changed color and texture with ASA. It's the first time I really paid attention and noticed it. If you don't know what the underworld is, I've done a guide on accessing it if you're fairly new to Ark, but it's basically a huge series of caverns and caves with this giant basin with waterfalls, and this is where you'll find a ton of silica pearls too. And even better, there's even less dangers here in the water than where you'll find under the floating island. The worst thing you're going to come across is more than likely some manta rays. And for whatever reason, if you're not using cryos, then you can go ahead and get to this place with a water creature. There is a series of underwater tunnels that will take you here. So 6546, go directly down. And we are going to need to go past the shelf here. You can see where it starts getting even deeper. You start to see some of the bioluminescent pink seaweed and you'll know you're on the right track. And in the cliff face, there should be two openings. This takes you into a larger cave, and what we're looking for now is some blue crystals. That's going to take us to the actual corridor all the way through. Like I said, there's plenty of easier ways to get here, but if you want to bring the donkey, this is pretty much one of the only waterways at least. As some of the other places, you have to go through small air pockets. And then it's just a case of following, keeping the crystals on the ceiling as guide, or the little cracks here. You'll also realize and notice there might be even some actual silica pearls along the way. That's why if you look up any old wiki maps, it shows a bunch of these apparently on land. It's not, it's this river underneath that's taken us to where we need to go. Now eventually you can surface up and you'll realize you're in the main or large chamber, pretty close to where you can get the jumping puzzle. Just keep the left hand side close and you will find a smaller entrance, again marked out by more blue crystals and this seaweed, and this can take you into the next part. Keep going through and you'll notice you've got the Hanuman little temple, and this is where you can find the blue crystal caves, the jumping puzzle, and the artifact of the pact. Relatively, if you've got any kind of swimmer, it's actually one of the easiest ways to get in here, as long as you can avoid any trouble from any deep sea ones. Then from here it's a loop, it doesn't really matter if you go left or right, as they pretty much lead to the same thing, although it can still get a bit confusing. 
The lighting might be a bit different for you as well. But heads at this kind of same level. Go all the way down. And you'll notice there's some more blue rocks or crystals. And another little underpass area. Again, if you're getting lost, keep track. At the bottom, you've got the pathway of the blue crystals. It's a pretty long tunnel. But eventually, you loop around. If you swim up, you realise you're now in the underworld. It's quite a large area to find some, but it's still miles safer and better than some of the other locations. So with or without a angler, it's a great place to come and get a ton of silica pearls. I will link my guide to the underworld down below so you can find even more ways to get in there if you just want to go by land or like I said by flyer. So traditionally you can still maybe find a few now and then in some of the rivers close to the ruins in the middle of the jungle but there doesn't seem to be as much as they're used to. This method's definitely a lot more harder, you're going to have to go to Volcano Island and look out for some of the rivers and lakes that you'll find here. I don't think this is the best place to get it because it's quite dangerous and it requires quite a lot of gear and you certainly won't be able to bring a donkey unless you've got the cryos. But you never know, if you've got yourself a fairly decent pteranodon and you just want to have a hop skip over, especially if you have spawned near Blue Ob, then it could be a viable option. Exact coordinates, 1257. Another small lake more to the eastern side of Volcano Island, you'll find plenty here too, but again, maybe more dangers. 1259. And the last place to check out on Volcano Island, of course, is more over to the west. Again, plenty of silica pearls in here too. 1850. So by all means, search on that ocean floor deeply using your anglerfish. Obviously, it will light up the way and you may be able to find some. But there is just so much foliage around, I think it's really hard now to get some, especially in the deep ocean where it's dangerous. So far, when I went around places like the Blue Lagoon, for near the Blue Ob, there wasn't any there when there used to be loads. And if you spawned on the Redwood Forest, then head all the way over to where the archway leads up to the cliffs, and you might find a few random small ones here too. 8577. Of course, there's still plenty of beavers and beaver dams in lots of the lakes in the Redwoods and in the central jungles if you want to try just getting some from some of their nests. But yeah, if you want more than that, you are going to have to go to some of them places. Seems to have removed a lot also from some of the larger waterfalls in the north and the south west as well. That used to be a good place to get them. So again, there wasn't that many dangers of them, maybe megalodons, but yeah, things have changed. Maybe it'll add more points. Maybe it's something we're just missing. Like I said, it does feel like the terrain is just a little bit off. And maybe that's why we're not seeing as many as we used to. But let me know if you found any other great spots, donkey or no. And I'll see you right back with some more guides for Ark Survival Ascended very soon. Goodbye.